Hello ladies and gents, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Clio facelift. This is the Techno package with a 1.0 TSC. It's a three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with 90 horsepower, probably the one you're gonna get. So in this video, we're gonna take a tour of it. So let's go without further ado. So as mentioned, here's the new Clio facelift Techno package. Uh, we do have this pouch for the key fob, so uh, you can take out the key fob. So let me see if I can do it here. Uh, you can see here there's a new fob but you probably saw this okay so um, unlocking the car uh, we do have a little kitty here so she's also checking the new Clio facelift uh, you can see the new uh, redesigned front end now I did cover the uh, eSprit Alpine package so this is the Tefno uh, same design on the front uh, there actually is no difference what I've noticed besides the color so uh, this is a new color option so this is called Rafale uh, gray and uh, besides the older colors this is the only new one uh, that was before exclusive to another model so uh, it looks like on metallic but this is actually metallic color let's come a little bit closer so over here you can see this is a metallic uh, gray so pretty cool uh, looking because of this black detail so we have the new LED uh, lights we have five projectors in there uh, LED data running on the top and over here so the top one turns into turn signal uh, this is the same we do have this uh, diamond finish on the top package as well uh, and this piano black details on the uh, Alpine package this was in uh, matte gray metallic color so in this case it's color of the vehicle looking nice uh, and looking sporty big air intake on the bottom and the top radar is here and you can see the new diamond badge um, let me back up so you have also black side mirrors and technically it looks just fresh so uh, checking the alloys so these are I haven't honestly checked 16 inch so in the uh, sport package you can get the top 17 this is a little bit more tire a little bit more comfort diamond cut silver on black and you can see the new cap for the uh, new badge and uh, checking the profile of the car so nice small city hatchback we have a chrome line underneath tinted windows on the back shark fin, shark fin antenna in black excuse me there and uh, checking the rear so over here there's a little bit more light you can see the new color so it uh, reflects because it's a metallic a little bit more and we have the new same taillights but they're in this new transparent uh, instead of red uh, plastic cover so this is like Lexus lights and we can see there is a real exhaust pipe uh, for the petrol version there will be one diesel engine uh, and a hybrid you also have a little chrome line underneath you also get this new design looks more sportier you have these cat eyes standard and a cold LED lights you press here underneath to open we have a backing camera here on uh, the Techno package, you have the backing camera on the uh, Esprit Alpine, we got 360. And let me open it up. So cargo space, I'm gonna type the liters down. You can see here, opens nice and tall. Um, this is six fingers of height to the loading area. So we have this fire extinguisher. I'm gonna remove this uh, just so I can show you the false bottom. So this, can be like this so you can enter underneath this could be also tucked in like that so you have maybe five fingers from here so that was around six seven i forgot now but uh plenty of space now you can take this out i'm just gonna leave it here and then inside look at this now they didn't leave an opening but you can take this out and you have a full spare tire uh, so in the hybrid you get a smaller dimension spare tire so in this model you get more room so let me just put this back so we said around six fingers of height here this is around one finger and then here another five so around 11 fingers of height well, it's almost like a centimeter uh, here we have both uh, sides grocery hooks have a warm light on the right side 
the rest is same 60 40 seats go down and uh let me just show this side so checking the rear great opening and closing sound and uh so hard plastic they padded this with the leather actually this is not real leather they are now using man-made leather or artificial leather speaker there I'm not sure if this is a speaker you can push this down to lock from the inside if you have kits doors open fairly wide now over here in the technical package you have this uh, black artificial leather with gray contrast stitching and then this gray cloth and the top is also now gray uh, very standard you have this all weather floor mats original handy in the winter big pockets here let me hear the closing sound okay closing sound in uh you see that so very nice uh won't be too much detail here you have this physical switches for the lights only the front passenger has the handle the rest don't and headspace to meet a tall person of course uh lack of headspace for an average person it should be okay you can adjust the seat belt there now i'm gonna go to the front because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time uh no blind spot in this case so on the front you get this cloth uh finish so let me just check here if i forgot it yeah on the back it's just plastic so on the front they gave you the cloth so this is now sustainable uh, source, so it's not something uh, that's uh, plastic or similar. Uh, all power windows, automatic, you can lock the rear, fold them. Speaker there, no aluminum doorstep there, and another look at the seats, quite comfy. Uh, no lumber, unfortunately. This is for up and down, this is for the tilt. Pull that up to slide back and forward. Manual, six-speed manual have a speaker there this is also manual adjusted lane assist light uh, height and the brightness of the illumination uh, of the cluster and buttons manual handbrake let's jump inside closing sound okay switching to wide lens and here we have the point of view there will be point of view video uh, short one but will be now physical buttons cruise control no distance because the radar is only for emergency braking you can control here the views of course this is all standard i'm not going to go through this uh let me zoom in so uh in the very base package you get a smaller screen but it's standard now digital screens and then in the higher models you get this big screen also now big screen only for this one so this is padded and this is padded with this textile. Speaker there in the A pillar. Air vents, everything is the same start stop engine. Now, this leather is nice and smooth and gray stitching there. So, just covering the difference, you have the Apple CarPlay wireless now, big display here, and so on. Auto start stop off, driving modes. Um, 90 horsepower is more than enough for this size of the car. You can get 100 horsepower as well. And let me switch on the car. So you can hear the car if I break a little bit. Not too loud inside. Uh, big glove compartment, very spacious. Uh, manual physical AC controls, what we love. Full outlet aux to USB A's rubber mat with a charging pad, 6 speed manual, so nice, and you still get the ambient light there, uh, manual handbrake as shown, you can put your card here and then you have two cup holders, in this case there is no cover like in the e, uh, e Spritz Alpine package, uh, this is nice and spacious, plastic though you can see very deep and uh, this does extend to open, just push up. Uh, headspace, plenty of headspace. I can go a little bit down. Uh, this is document holder here, privacy mirror. Uh, I love this black and gray finish. 
Uh, this does not extend. I was mentioning this to Renault. They've said, you know, in France, they decide what you get or don't get. Uh, mirror here has a basil. Uh, the higher package is baseless. Uh, I think you have auto dimming here. It's maybe automatic. Uh, you can see good around the car for the mirrors. So it's good. This A pillar is a little bit uh, blind spot issue there. You have the emergency buttons there uh, and uh, LED lights. So uh, that's it um, here. Uh, I'm gonna show this in the other uh, video, so I'm not gonna be detailed here. And uh, I'm gonna switch it off. Maybe release the clutch a little bit early, but it's okay. The handbrake was on. And let's pop the bonnet just to show you the uh, petrol engine. Again, 1.0 TCE, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a petrol to recharge three cylinder. You have to use a little leg, uh, 90 horsepower. So uh, this does not have a cover. And uh, you can see how it opens. Uh, left side of the badge, push to the left, if I'm not mistaken. And a uh, yellow thing there is your wash of fluid. So we're gonna wrap it up here. So uh, the new Clio definitely looks nice and fresh. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, give this video a like. Type your comment below. How do you like the new facelift of the Clio and how do you like the Techno package? Hope to see you in the next one. Sorry for the fast review, just time limited. Uh, and uh, stay safe. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.